what Forrest and I are doing now is you can see here, right there, we're building the columns. It's going to go on these poles right here. So we're cutting our plywood. We've already got our blocks cut right there that goes around the base and goes three foot up where the others are. So that's what our project is today. It's going to be columns here and then on that one and then on that and then on that right there. It's going to be columns there. So that's what our project is today. We're using the Bosch. Table saw because the DeWalt is not mounted on a table and it's more for portable use. And when I'm cutting big sheets of plywood, I use the Bosch. Now we're ready to see if we can fit it around the pole. The thing that I should give you is uh, great confidence because if you're not a carpenter, you're thinking about doing work around your house or on something, you can figure it out. If I can figure it out, anybody can figure it out. Just like these columns, uh, I did them once before in a rental property where I tore out a wall like this and then I, it was actually a support wall. This is not a support wall, but it was actually a support wall in a rental house and I tore a wall out and built columns. Now these are going to be a little more detailed because this right here, this what we're building right here is out of treated plywood. And the reason we're doing that is it's going to be uh, that air stone is going to go around the bottom and then it'll be wood up going up at the top. So let's fit these. Now, I'm sure that there's a better way to do it, but the reason that I've got these rounded out is so that we can turn these to get them straight with the room. We're gonna measure here and find the center, get the center of our post. We'll have a line here, we'll have a line here, we're gonna have a line here, and we'll then start getting these in the center and then start eyeballing them down through there and square them up. cut some caps out. I'm just setting it up here right now for purposes of this video. That's not getting it squared up and measured out and all that, but that's, uh, that's getting kind of close right there to what it's going to look like. And of course, you know, that's going all the way to the ceiling. This is going to have the air stone on it. Brick. Don't you think it's looking good for us? Come on for us. Well, we're starting to build in now the top part of the columns, as you can see.
we got to square it up up at the top now. ripping little blocks to put in behind there to nail them in to give it support something to nail to we'll we'll put some more like down in here give it good support nail them nail them in there and just give them so this is not you know flimsy we'll put supports in every so often nail them in nail them into that There's sheetrock on the back side of that tube of six going down through there. And uh, can you see the tube of four that we mounted right there? That tube of, whoop, let me go back. That tube of four right there. We're doing that on the other side because this uh, box right here is going to go right up like this fit right up there. This will be brick. Then we'll, one of those wood columns, then it'll go up through there and the box, electrical boxes go inside. So that's what we're working on now. I like to clean as I go. Keep my work area clean. portable battery stuff man you just can't beat it it is just so handy having a battery and portable we got, um, got our top cap on now we just got to build going up and uh, put the electrical boxes in well we got um, we got one right here bottom done and then other than trimming it out we got that one done and we've got back there in the back that third one started that's going we're going to call it a day it's uh, nearly five o'clock we've worked nine to twelve and one to five and that's enough for today thank all of you for watching and i'll see you on the next video